Hello, welcome back, my dear friend. My name is David Cortez and this is my website, www.david-cortez.com. In this video, I want to show you an important program coded in C language. And this program is the, the uses the, the switch case. So this program shows how the switch case works in C programming language. So you uh, will find this PDF on my website inside the section software in engineering and uh, in the subsection C programming. So we will do this program together step by step using code blocks that is an open source cross platform IDE. So we need to create a new project console application next C project title we call it switch dash case enter the compiler is new gcc compiler finish okay so we are ready for coding this new program together step by step so hashtag include sdio.h it is the input output standard library hashtag include standard library.h ok uh, we can delete this line and uh, instead of return 0 we can write return exit success so we need only a variable int n semicolon printf between parentheses, between uh, um, quotation marks, we write number is equal to semicolon connect between quotation marks percent D comma and percent N percent D because uh, the number that the program must read is an, an integer and ampersand because it is a scalar the ampersand is the address of our variable so we use this switch and we use the switch when there are different cases so case 1 so when we uh, press, when we write the number 1, uh, it calculates n equals to n times 1, for example, break, semicolon, so it uh, exit from here, so case 2, Okay, case 2 is n equals to n times 2, semicolon, break, and case 3 is n e is equal to n times 3, break, semicolon. The default is uh, n equals zero. So then we write print f backslash n because we want a new line percent d because it is an integer backslash n for a new line comma n because 
the variable is n the integer n so basically this uh, program uses the switch case in this way if we write the number the number one so the case is one when n is one it prints one times one that is one when uh, if we press uh, the number two it calculates n is equal to 2 times 2 so it is prints the number 4 but when we press the number 3 it prints 9 because it uh, calculates n is equal to 3 times 3 when we press another number we are in the default case so it uh, prints n is equal to 0 so uh, if we press uh, a number like 4 or 5 it prints on the screen uh, a number uh, 0 the number 0 so let's do the debug so we press to run and compile uh, and we press for example the number one and it prints on the screen one okay if uh, instead we press uh, a number like uh, five it prints on the screen zero so let's do uh, the release build and run we click on build and run we press 2 and it prints 4 and the last case is uh, if we uh, write 3 it prints 9 so as you can see it's not difficult to manage a switch case situation in c programming language so you need to remember uh, always to uh, write all the cases that uh, you need to manage and uh, at the end of, it, uh, of every case you need to write uh, break uh, semicolon. You will find this uh, uh, PDF that explains this program in the section C programming language that is inside the section software engineering so i want to remember that you can visit my website www.david-cortese.com where you can find a lot of interesting things about software engineering web development mathematics physics chemistry but also you find a lot of uh, other uh, applications for example the game of chess other applications uh, um, electronic books uh, and so on i want to remember that if you want to make a donation you can click here on the sidebar and uh, dear friend your donation is important uh, help me update this website and join this community Thank you for watching, see you next time, bye bye!